Good morning, folks. A star is cold as snow, the chaotic plasma environment around a spacecraft. Both those things coming up in a moment, but first we've got this large active region on the sun, sort of. The umbral magnetic field structure remains as we come to spacewethernews.com, but it has not produced any solar flares or CMEs. The solar wind has calmed down completely here at Earth as well. And beneath these bright magnetic loops, one can easily see that the sunspot is in decay. Trailing portion of the group is fading quickly, leaving the lead, but it is notable that when large groups fall apart, they tend to give one last shout before they do so, eyes on the big bright thing. Also, a fair bit of coronal hole presence on the disk. Northern opening stream could reach Earth tonight, but probably tomorrow, and I think I see one behind those sunspots too. Let's go next to Bepi Colombo, the future of exploring the innermost planet Mercury. Since it will be so close to the Sun, the plasma environment forced by the craft itself is pivotal to understand. Link to this video is below. And now to the top story. Perhaps you've heard about WISE 855, the coldest star known. Bigger than Jupiter, but negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, that's negative 23 C. It is the fourth closest star to our own, implying that there's lots of these deep in the cosmos, and it has been thought to have water ice clouds. Well, now we know that the L and M band spectroscopy reveals considerable targets for the James Webb Telescope whenever it does finally launch, and those targets would be clouds like Earth on a star. If you missed last night's video, let me say I did not realize how into that topic many of you would be. That link is below this video too, and apparently many of you haven't seen that stuff before. Good to know. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new valley at the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.